Today's tutorial is going to be on gathering multiple teams into one team meeting. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do this. I'm going to show you probably the easiest. When you schedule your team meetings, I schedule mine from the calendar. And I would just add a title to my team meeting here. Sample cross teams meeting. All right. Uh, I would come to the channel I want to include here, and I want to include the fourth grade team for DLI. And you have to pick one of the channels, so I'm going to pick general. This is where it'll make that announcement, and everybody that is in the general channel will get this invite. Location is going to be online. And this is a sample meeting. From here, I can send this to everybody on that team and it will create a calendar meeting for me. Once this is done, I can go into this calendar event, scroll down and copy this information right here, join Microsoft Teams meeting. I'm going to copy that link. Then I'm going to go to another team that I want to include with it. This one's going to be the distance learning committee. And I'm going to paste that link right here. Once I paste that link, all my students need to do is click on this link and everybody will be joined into this one calendar meeting. So I can have two classes in there, I can have four classes in there, it doesn't matter. As long as I paste that link into the other team, they will be able to join the meeting. All right, let's go over some meeting options real quick. So if I wanna have this meeting uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, from say 11 to 11.30. I can set those options here. I'm gonna change my time. I'm gonna say it does repeat and I wanna customize it. So the start date, it will be here. I want it to weekly on Tuesday and Thursday, I select both of those. And then I want it to end sometime in the future. Let's say the fourth will um, populate every Tuesday and Thursday until June 4th. I'm going to hit save. Now this link right here that I just had in this meeting, this link is good for every single one of those meetings. I still can't spell. Every single one of those meetings. So if I copy this into another team like I did earlier, it will count for all of them. I'm going to send that update. And there it is, Sample Cross Teams Meeting Online. One more thing about Sample Cross Meetings, I'm going to show you real quick. If I go into a team and I want to make sure I have access to this meeting all the time, I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to save this message. Once that message is saved and I'm somewhere else, all I have to do to find that is to go up to my image and say, I want to see what I saved. And it will now come up right here. This is the Bassett Distance Learning Committee. This is the Microsoft Teams meeting, and it shows me exactly where that link is. This is an easy way if you set up a meeting that recurs for your students to be able to remember where it's at. That's it for today's tutorial. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to any one of the TOSAs. We are here to help you and look forward to hearing from you soon.